Many of us are worried about eating ocean fish because of the mercury and other heavy metal buildup that it can occur in some species of ocean fish. But there's one particular fish that is a nutrient dense superfood, a superfish, if you will, that does not have this very important problem of mercury buildup or other heavy metal buildup, and that's sardines. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. I'm going to tell you all the health benefits of sardines that we know about so far. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the exact kind of sardines to get so that you get the maximum health benefits that I talk about in this video. There are many things to love about sardines. Now, if you've never tried them before and you've only smelled them when someone else is eating them, you might think, ooh, gross. I don't want to eat a sardine. They're nasty. I promise you they're not nasty. There are several different ways to prepare them that I'll tell you about later in this video. And they are a literal superfood, and here's why. They are rich sources of all the collagen building blocks to help strengthen your bones and rebuild tendons, ligaments, and cartilage that your bones and joints need. They are an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids like DHA and EPA that are very good for your brain and your heart. You've probably heard about those. They're a great source of protein. They have more protein than the average protein shake and way fewer carbohydrates. They actually have zero carbs. Uh, they have all the amino acids that you need. They are a complete protein for building bones, muscles, and other tissues in your body. They're full of vitamins and minerals. Naturally, they don't have to be fortified, right? They're great sources of B12, D3. They're great sources of calcium, naturally occurring calcium. Much better for you than taking a calcium supplement. They're rich with iron, magnesium, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, and vitamin K2. Now, they actually have the real vitamin A unlike the, the fake beta carotene vitamin A that, that is touted to be in green leafy vegetables that some of us have a very hard time converting over into actual real vitamin A. They're also great sources of zinc, phosphorus, vitamin B2, and niacin. I mean, does that not sound like a multivitamin to you? Since they're full of healthy protein and healthy fats, they're going to hack your hunger and your satiety hormones and keep you full for many hours after you eat them. Uh, they're very uninflammatory food. They don't contain any uh, phyto or zooochemicals that are going to cause inflammation in your body. As I said earlier, they are zero carbs. So if you're eating a low carb or a keto diet, they are a perfect superfood addition to your proper human diet. they Now let's talk about the mercury and heavy metal buildup that's in many species of fish like swordfish and even in some tuna. Uh, these fish eat thousands of other fish who in turn eat other fish and that's how the heavy metals build up in the swordfish or the tuna's body. Sardines don't eat other fish, they eat plankton. So they're kind of at the, at the primary, at the, the very first end of the food chain, so they don't have heavy, heavy metal buildup in their tissues. So the only sardine you may have ever been exposed to in your life is the canned sardines that come from the supermarket. But you can also buy sardines fresh. Uh, you can get them pickled, grilled, or smoked. So there's many different flavors that sardines come in that you can enjoy. enjoy. I get my sardines in water only. Now you can get them in olive oil, but as we've all read in the news in the past year or two, many olive oils are adulterated with canola oil or soybean oil. And so even though it says olive oil on the can, I don't know if I can trust that or not. So I just get my sardines in water. That way I know there's no unhealthy inflammatory oils added. Never ever eat sardines that are packed in soybean oil or canola oil. Very inflammatory, very high in omega-6 fatty acids. Not a good choice. Now also don't get the fillets because here's why. The kind of sardine that you want to get in order to maximize your health benefits is whole sardines with the bones in and the skin on. 
Okay, and I know, I know that sounds a little gross if you're not used to eating things like that, but I promise you uh, getting them grilled or smoked or pickled or putting some zero carb mustard on top and some pepper, you're going to love them. I promise you, if you've never tried sardines, then I want you to make it your next check mark on your bucket list is to try a can of sardines with the bones in, the skin on, in water, and then tell me in the comments below what you thought about it. I love my sardines with zero carb mustard on top. Some people like to use something like Primal Kitchen's mayo. That's a good way to, to make your sardines taste better or less bad, depending on what your current thoughts on it are. Some people put uh, very low carb hot sauce on their sardines and that's the way they love them. However you try them, just please promise me you're going to try them at least one time. I've had many people who thought they hated sardines. Try them with one of these different flavorings and say, uh, Dr. Barry, I freaking love sardines. How often can I eat them? You can eat a can of sardines every day. You can eat a, a can of sardines twice a week, once a week. Any time you add sardines to your diet with the bones in and the skin on, you are giving your body vitamins and minerals that it otherwise might never have had access to plus the omega-3 fatty acids that are so hard to get. So don't waste your money on an omega-3 supplement. Just get your omega-3s by eating yummy sardines. I put a link down in the show notes to the nutrition contained in sardines and then a link to the my favorite sardines that I eat probably three cans a week of. 